meiosis makes gametes, and gametes are in me. Since I cannot do the asexual, just like any other normal human like myself, I only have half the number of chromosomes in my gametes. So it takes half of mine to be with half of another to make a new offspring. Meiosis produces cells that are haploid. They have half the number of chromosomes in each individual cell that is created. The possibilities are endless for passing on your genes to the next generation. Because haploid of one of them will be haploid with another. And you can combine them to form different combinations through the law of independent assortment. That is the brilliance of meiosis and sexual reproduction. Mitosis, on the other hand, is a little boring. It's just making copies of the exact same cell over and over and over again. Diploid to 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 diploid. Where's the fun in that? Yosef has the fun. Diploid to haploid. A new combination. New chromosomes crossing over in prophase one to get a new unique combination so that even if you are a sibling in your family, you are different from the next, from the next, from the next. Oh, the biodiversity. Somatic cells and gametes will go through the cell cycle of interphase of G1, S and G2. They grow, they replicate the DNA and then but then, when they get to their respective positions of division, mitosis is different. Only one series of the PMAT, prophase, metaphase, anaphase, telophase, show up, line up, split up, make new cell. And if you're in mitosis, hopefully it doesn't happen too fast before you proceed to cytokinesis. Meiosis also goes through those, but has two divisions. Count them, one, two divisions. Oh my goodness, the glorious nature of meiosis. And amazingly, these two processes work together. Meiosis, one haploid and one haploid. The sperm and the egg unite. Glorious F word in history. Fertilization to create the glorious zygote. Zygote then starts to divide after fertilization. And each cell will then form its pre-programmed destination within the organism. The stem cells will produce through mitosis. They start to divide to form the different parts. Your fingers, your eyes, your nose, your ears, your heart. Every part of you through mitosis. Genes and chromosomes that you got were passed down from your parents and your parents through the meiosis to give them to you for your gametes, for you to then pass them on to others in the future to carry on the great circle of life. Don't forget. Meiosis makes gametes and gametes are in me.